Come on over, it's time for Tim Friend. Here's the rules to my Nuzlite run. Pause the video if you gotta read them. Boop! Alright, welcome back to Tim Friend. Last episode I promised you we would use strength on this Vanillite and send it back to whatever ice, ice cream hell spawned it. And you know what? That's just what I'm gonna give you. You know what? That That's the fucking... That's the Tim Friend slogan. Delivering on promises. Promises kept, Tim Friend. <laughs> oh, wow. Did she say she feel really drained? Really fucking, uh... Really fucking exhausting. Losing a battle is so draining. I feel really burned out somehow. Yeah, lady. Yeah. I fucking... I feel you. I absolutely feel you. It's rough. That's, uh... Like, losing the losing a Pokemon battle would be terrible if, you know, were the Pokemon, were the Pokemon reality the prime reality, then yeah, it would suck because you would have these cute creatures and also uh, unsettling creatures, but let, let's start with cute creatures. Um, you'd send them to fight other cute creatures uh, with vicious intent uh, to knock them unconscious. Uh, using whatever most powerful elemental abilities they have. Oh, that's funny. It actually metronomed into a stab move. How, how cute. Octazooka, though. I... Poliwhirl, if your stats were better, I'd be much more worried, but, uh, your stats are not good, so I am not worried. Get out of here. Let me... Let me Trillia get up to 49. Ooh, Poliwrath. Hello there. Do you have guts? I feel like you have Swift Swim. Ooh, Ice Punch. That's not very effective, Mon Frere. Oh, buddy. You crit me for like nine damage. Oh, it doesn't even matter what ability you have anymore, because now what you got is Mummy. And Mummy don't get stronger when you're burnt. Now you're much, much weaker. You're going to do like, uh, damage. Let's see how much damage you do with the Ice Punch. Two. Two. I got hit by a Polyrath for two damage. That feels good. Admittedly, it is burned. It is hitting me with a non-stab, not very effective move. But, into a Pokemon with absurdly high defenses. This is all true. But it do feel good for a final stage evolution Pokemon to hit you for the whopping two damage. Ooh. Ooh, puts a smile on my face. You know, and that's like the best move he's got to use on me. Cause he's probably got like fucking low sweep or some shit. You know, some trash. That he can't use on me because of his his ding dang uh, inability to hit ghosts. He didn't take mind reader. He's not Chuck from from Gold and Silver. He's just doing that mind reader uh, dynamic punch question mark shit over and over again. Goodbye. And Clefable. What a strange third choice. Uh, but okay. I I mean I guess sure. Let's switch to Gompers. I think Clefable is more of a special tank. I don't want to just wail on it with Flash Cannon because we've only got like three uses of Flash Cannon left. And I'd rather uh, preserve it just in case. Oh, it used Moonlight. That's cute. I like that it, I like that so far both of the Pokemon that have used Metronome have gotten moves that they could uh, theoretically no. <laughs> like, it's like, metronome. Who knows what horrible power I will emit. And it's something I could probably do anyway. Like, shoot water or ink at you. Like, that's easy shit, Poliwhirl. There's the Litwick. Hello, my little friend. My little ghost candle. God, I do love Litwick. Look, look at his little smile. Look at his little face. He's, he's a ghost. He's a candle with a purple flame. And his fucking wax hair droops over one eye. Like, Litwick, Litwick's design is fucking laser-guided at my fucking emo teen aesthetic, isn't it? I guess I'd never realized that before. It also fucking becomes a goth chandelier. Yeah, yeah, it's kind of a surprise that uh, chandelier, that the Litwick to chandelier line isn't like my favorite Pokemon evolution chain, isn't it? Uh, nope, nope, Eevee, Eevee still takes that slot, Eevee's to Espeon. And it's pretty great, because you know those motherfuckers are going to be in every game. You know they're going to put the Espeons and the Eeveeons in every motherfucking Pokemon game. Because Eevee's like the second most recognizable Pokemon. There's, there's Pikachu, and then there's Eevee, and that's it, that's done. I actually don't know if it's like the most recognizable, but the fact that they did Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee, like they put Eevee on a... At, like the same tier as Pikachu. 
and then maybe they're usually better than the Pikachu if if my information is correct. The Eevee is just straight up better than the Pikachu, which is uh dumb. I don't like how you can't fucking evolve the Eevee either. I want to be able to do that. That I love the Eevee Lucians. I think the Eevee itself is cute, but even just by boosting its... Uh, I haven't played Let's Go Pikachu or Eevee. I've only watched a Let's Play of it, and I've watched a speed run of it. Uh, but there are design design decisions, uh, which is a lot of fun to say. Uh, there are design decisions in those two games that make me not want to buy the games, even though you can have an Eevee right on your hat, which is uh, fucking awesome. God, I want that in every... I want, I want that in a fucking Paper Mario game to have an Eevee on my head. I want to have an Eevee right on my head because it's so cute to have like a little tiny adorable fox Pokemon on your head, run around at the speed of sound. Oh my goodness. I am love it. All right, Trillia, you good, baby. Uh, let's get in the... Let's put Pansy up front, you know? Pansy, Pansy does not have the easiest time. I have a feeling that Pansy is not going to survive. Uh through the rest of the game just because, I mean, she's a Lipard. I love Pansy, do not get me wrong. But Pansy evolved how long ago? And we're to level 49 now? Like her her stats are just gonna get outclassed. So maybe, maybe at some point it'll be time to retire Pansy. But I also don't have, I was gonna say I don't have a dark type Pokemon, but I was just saying about how I have so many fucking dark type moves. I've got, I've got Crunch on two Pokemon. Uh, the only reason to keep Pansy would be to, or the only reason to keep a pure dark type Pokemon was to have like an incredible switch in for stuff like Reuniclus, stuff that only, that pe stuff that would bust me down with psychic type moves, it would be dope to have Pansy to switch in with. Uh, but like that Reuniclus hit with energy ball, with a couple levels below Pansy, <laughs> whoa, this person's here to understand the end of the world? What? I don't know if you're in the right game, Mon Frere. I think you might be, uh, I think, I think you might be lost. That's some more, like, uh, some more Pokemon Platinum shit, Mon Dude. Mon Dude. <laughs> that is a fantastic reference. A pun on Mon Dieu, but a uh, French for my god. But it's Mon Dude, so it's my dude. Mmm, I'm smiling. I'm, I might have to fucking work that into my lexicon. I do like having Pansy because Pansy is very adorable. I do love using this kitty. Uh, I do like having a good switch into psychic type busters like Reuniclus, Alakazam, uh, Gotharita, etc. Uh, I do not love Pansy against pretty much anything she's not super effective against. And even the stuff she is super effective against, she's kind of a glass cannon. Like the fact that she... <clears throat> I mean, this is not a great example because she's just destroying this trainer. Even this Dusclops, this tanky tanky Dusclops, who you know I love. A Cyclops mummy? Mmm. Super down. It's like, she's not bringing... This Psychic is not exactly bringing, like, the, the top tier quality content to this fight. By bringing out ghosts that Pansy can one-shot. But, like, Pansy's such, like, a fucking specific missile, you know? You get, you get me? Like, Gompers hits a lot of... Gompers is pretty safe to switch into a lot of stuff, it feels like. But Pansy, it feels like I have to fucking really pick my battles for Pansy. <sighs> However, there's, uh, I think, one of the elite... Oh, nice crit, Pansy. Well-timed. Right through that iron defense. Like, she does not give a heck darn. Uh, I think one of the elite four is Psychic and one of the other ones is Ghost. Oh, sweet. That's right. I always forget about the, the nurses that will fight you and then make you healthy. I was like, who is, who is this? Nurse Dixie. Oh, hey, Nurse Dixie. What do you got with this Alamomola? I'm going to cut it open. I'm using my cat to eat your little fish. <clears throat> Are there cats, cat-type Pokemon, that are super effective against water-type Pokemon? So I guess that would make them either grass or electric. There is an electric cat. This is the Shinx to Luxray line. I 
Did not expect it to use Wake Up Slap. Yowza babowza. Don't love it. It used Wish, you son of a donk. Uh, I think, I mean, we can survive another Wake Up Slap. Might be rocking Wish again anyway. Nope, that's Wake Up Slap. Ow, 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 ow. Ow, 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 ow. Okay, okay, cut, cut, cut. Oh, God. The little pause there made me think that Cut was about to miss and we were about to lose Pansy to an Alamomola. Momola. An Alo freaking Momola. A freaking Jason Momoa. I would not have been down with that. Oh, should we go for it? No, we should switch. We should switch. Let's switch to Garfles. Good old Garfles. He's, he's our newest comer to the team, but he's, he's still got big old jaws. He's still a big dang Kaiju Godzilla monster. Look at him. Look at him all, all fucking lurching and leering around with his baffle. Is his back ripped? Or are those like proto spikes coming out? Because like all of his spikes are red. Except he's got like that weird armor plating on his arms and lumps on his back. Let's not learn Slash. Give up on Slash. Because Slash is not amazing. I would take Slash if we were rocking some kind of uh, crit based build. But since we are very much not doing that. Uh, we will put Slash into the hmm, maybe later pile. And then we never call Slash back again. It's a good point, Tim. What is going on with... What the fuck? It's just... Oh, I think there's just like a truck stopping outside. It, it's doing that thing where you just hear it go... Psh, but it's really drawn out. Like really drawn out. That, I don't know what the heck darn that is. Woo! It is hot today it is hot today i can feel a drop of sweat slowly rolling its way down my body but uh next time on tim friend uh we will we will fucking run from this bird our cat will run from this bird because uh we don't have much against it uh and then we will continue our way up the celestial tower i think there's only a couple floors to go i don't remember all right bye everybody Wah 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 w